Okay, I want to talk for just a minute about what it takes to do a remote backup or a backup across the LAN to another server. Um, <clears throat> in the last video, I discussed how you use this convention here, how you use the uh, the whack whack convention to to get to a share on another server. But having a having access to a share isn't necessarily enough. I mean, this is the admin share, but that's not necessarily enough. You still have to have actual permissions on the drive to be able to do something like that. So let me show you what I mean. I'm going to run this exact same backup that I ran in the last one, only this time I get a cannot open backup device and it gives me the the location and it says operating system error access is denied. That's because the service that I'm using is um, is set to local service instead of a network account. I mean you gotta think about what's going on here, right? You're, you're doing the backup across the network to another machine, but that other machine doesn't know anything about SQL. It just knows that another service is trying to write a file to a drive. So what it's going to do is it's going to check the Windows permissions, and if you're on a local system account, there are no Windows permissions that, that cross servers like that. So you need to have a domain account running as your uh, running for your SQL service if you want to do this kind of backup. Here, let me show you what I mean. Okay, here I've, I've TS'd into that remote server, and you see here it's exactly what I said. I'm running as a local system account. I'm going to go ahead and run it as administrator. Since it is my test domain, it doesn't really matter. I can do that sort of thing. And got kind of a password here. Okay, so now I'm running this as something that's clearly going to have rights to that admin share. And now if I hit it again, oh, I didn't, uh, I didn't restart the service. Let me restart the service. Okay, did I restart it? I don't remember. Here, let me restart it again, just in case. Okay. I'll come back here. I'll need to reconnect. There we go. And now I can make my backup. So that's actually bitten quite a few young DBAs in the butt before um, <clears throat> having to do uh, uh, remote backups like that and having them fail because they didn't realize that that service had to be set to a domain account. Now, of course, I, I highly suggest that you don't use an admin account, and like, I, like I'm using my domain admin account, but uh, you, know, you should have no trouble at all getting an AD account with rights to both boxes. Anyway, that's all I have on this one. Uh, I just wanted to talk about uh, remote backups real quick, and I'll be back soon with some probably log backup stuff.